Greetings, true believers, and welcome to another sensational episode of History of the Marvel Universe. Today's tale begins in the cold Balkan nation of Simkaria, where, in the years following World War II, little Silver Sablanova was born to Simkarian parents Ernst and Anastasia. Shortly after his daughter's birth, Ernst Sablanov was appointed by the king to be the leader of the Wild Pack, an elite squad of soldiers dedicated to hunting down and eliminating escaped Nazi war criminals. And despite his violent profession, young Silver idolized her father. However, Anastasia wanted better for her daughter and prayed that she would never follow in his footsteps. But then one day, after sneaking away from her mother, Silver overheard Nazi spies plotting to ambush the Wild Pack. She ran off to warn her father, inadvertently leading the assassins right to him. And as Anastasia searched for her daughter, she unknowingly placed herself between the Nazis and their target. When the shooting started, it was Anastasia Sablanova who was the one to be struck down. Silver's mother died in her arms when she was only seven years old. It was shortly after this that her hair began to change color to match her name. And despite her mother's wishes, some time over the next five years, Silver began training with her father. She spent her teenage years honing her skills, becoming an expert swordsman, martial artist, and gymnast. She also developed a unique three-pronged throwing weapon that she named a Chai. Meanwhile, Ernst secretly shared command of the Wild Pack with his twin brother Fritz. This allowed Ernst to accomplish tactics that required him to literally be in two places at once. Fritz also contributed to Silver's training, passing on his tactical and technical skills. By the time she was 17, the white-haired woman was deemed ready to join her father on his Nazi hunting expeditions. During their first mission together, Silver had a notorious fugitive at her mercy, while one of his men held Ernst at gunpoint, resulting in a standoff. Disobeying her father's order to execute the war criminal, Silver instead shot the man threatening her father, giving the old Nazi the opportunity to stab her in the side. Ernst chastised his daughter for letting her emotions get the better of her, but determined to prove herself, Silver pulled the knife from her body and threw it back towards its owner, pinning her target to the nearest wall. After the success of this mission, Ernst was gifted a castle from the Simkarian monarchy, and Silver was assigned to be his second in command. However, Ernst was growing older and more stubborn, and while Silver believed that she was ready to take his place, her father refused. Furthermore, their next target was none other than Ivan Trefkov, the man who had killed Silver's mother. Anastasia's brother, Morty, tried to convince Ernst to retire, but he was determined to have vengeance. Ironically, while Ernst chastised his daughter for not controlling her emotions, he allowed himself to make rash emotional decisions. This would be his downfall when the Wild Pack tracked down Trevkov, who had joined forces with the terrorist group known as Hydra. While he sent Silver and the rest of his team to an unmanned section of the Hydra ship, Ernst found Trevkov himself. While he could have easily taken out his enemy with a single shot, the enraged widower instead attacked with his bare hands. Fortunately, Silver had the foresight to plant a tracking device on her father and led her men right to him in the midst of his scuffle with Trevkov. She took aim at the old Nazi, but for a moment she hesitated, fearing that her disobedience in going after her father would spell the end of her career. That moment was all it took for Trevkov to stab Ernst in the chest, seemingly killing him. Lashing out, an enraged Silver ordered her men to slaughter the Hydra troops. In the resulting confusion, Trevkov began to escape with his victim's body. Silver gave chase, attempting to catch her father's killer, but the tide of battle began turning against the Wild Pack, as several of their members were shot and killed. When Trevkov attempted to escape by boat, the remaining Simkarians took matters into their own hands and went after him. However, the Nazi criminal was heavily armed and destroyed the pursuing boat with a well-aimed rocket. In the end, Trevkov escaped with Sablanov's body, leaving only Silver alive. Silver learned a harsh lesson that day, that without discipline, without being able to command respect and obedience, people would die. 
people she was responsible for. Following this, because of her country's dwindling economy, she rebuilt the Wild Pack as a mercenary organization. Taking the name Silver Sable, she and her elite unit accepted high-paying jobs from around the world to fund their exploits and boost the Simkarian economy. While she retained her morals and would only fight for causes that she deemed worthy, she also became cold, calculating, and vehemently pragmatic. During one mission, she encountered the enigmatic assassin known as the Foreigner. Introducing himself as Basil, the foreigner had been hired to kill Sable, but seemingly on a whim he decided not to. Following this, the two actually fought side by side and a romance quickly blossomed between them. Falling in love for the first time, Silver Sable agreed to marry her mysterious suitor, and the two became husband and wife. Despite being together for several years, Basil continued to keep many of his dealings a secret from his wife. This came to a head when Sable was hired to guard the United States president during a peace negotiation. After an attempted assassination, Silver Sable gave chase, tackling and unmasking the would-be killer, only to find that it was, in fact, her own husband. The foreigner used a hypnotic technique to distract Sable just long enough for him to make his escape. Weeks later, she received divorce papers in the mail as well as a challenge. A challenge to attempt to kill her ex-husband before he was able to do the same to her. This became a perverse game over the next decade as the foreigner would lay various traps for his former wife, although neither was able to take out the other. During these years, she built the renown of her mercenary business and Silver Sable International became the cornerstone of the Simkarian economy. She even began having annual dinner meetings with Victor Von Doom, the monarch of the neighboring country of Latveria, to ensure continued diplomacy. Readers were first introduced to Silver Sable when she and her company were hired to apprehend the aging international jewel thief known as the Black Fox. While pursuing their quarry, Sable's mercenaries were attacked by the masked vigilante Spider-Man. This was because the wall crawler saw the masked trooper shooting at the old man and came to the wrong conclusion. While Spider-Man allowed the fox to go free, he did obtain the stolen jewels and turned them over to Silver Sable, the reward for which made up for the lost bounty. The masked vigilante's strength and power intrigued Silver and she endeavored to keep an eye on him. In subsequent encounters, Silver Sable would sometimes fight alongside or even hire Spider-Man, and despite clashing ideologies, the two have become allies and occasional partners in various globe-spanning adventures. Spider-Man is not the only enhanced individual Sable has worked with, and she has also hired or recruited others including Sandman, Battlestar, and Paladin. In fact, it was the mercenary Paladin who first discovered the existence of the Genesis Coalition, a rogue Hydra division which employed Ivan Trefkov, the Nazi war criminal who had killed Sable's parents. And during an encounter with the forces of the Genesis Coalition, Silver learned that her father was still alive and held captive. The truth is that after Ernst Sablanov's apparent death, his brother Fritz went in search of his body. Fritz surrendered to Trevkov's forces, hoping to learn more about his brother's fate, only to be subjected to months of torture at the hands of the Mad Nazi. Eventually, out of desperation and madness, Fritz joined forces with Trevkov and presented a plan to form the Genesis Coalition, secretly plotting to use it against Hydra. And part of this plan involved using the captive Ernst as a living computer, draining his mind of secrets and strategies. Silver Sable learned all of this after leading an assault on the Genesis Coalition stronghold and encountering her Uncle Fritz. Outnumbered and outgunned, Sable surrendered and was captured by Fritz and Trevkov. However, she did so knowing that the foreigner had followed her there by disguising himself as one of the Genesis Coalition's foot soldiers. Not wishing anyone else to interfere with their game, the foreigner freed Sable and joined in her assault. Silver tracked down and attacked Trevkov, the old Nazi proving to be no match for the younger and stronger woman. For the first and perhaps the only time, Silver Sable killed a helpless opponent in cold blood. 
However, she had little time to consider this as she was quickly confronted by Fritz. Sable knew that her uncle's madness was the result of his months of torture, and so she wanted to save him and get him help. But before their battle could resolve, Fritz was shot and killed by the foreigner. In a rage, Silver attacked her former husband, badly battering him. After defeating him, she could have easily taken his life, but she decided to spare him, demanding that he stay out of her life from that day forward, effectively ending the twisted game between them. Fortunately, Silver was able to recover her father and return him home to Simcaria, where he could begin to recover from the traumatic experience. Reunited at last, the old man finally expressed the love for his daughter that he was once too stubborn to show. Since then, Silver Sable has continued to fight for causes that she believes in. Even during times when she doesn't have the backing of the Simkarian government, she will do what she believes is right for her country and the world at large. And that is the origin of Silver Sable, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe for more Marvelous content. Be sure to leave a comment letting me know what Marvel hero or villain you want to hear about next, and as always, the issues referenced in this video are listed in the description below if you would like to read them for yourself, as well as links to other places you can find me including my Patreon page, where for only a dollar a month you can get your name in these special thanks here. So until next time, true believers, Excelsior!